Okay, what the fuck is this, and why does it go this way? I think I should go back the other way and speak to those people before I continue on. It looked like that was the way, the right way to go. That's why I came back this way. Oh, I don't like this. Bitch! Your curry decks? No, I'm not filling that up. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> I'm trying to train a steel type here. Y'all are making it very difficult. I'm gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Hey, Marta Tekla should evolve at level 30. Yo, this is like Toxel all over again. Oh, it's gonna crit. Well, good hustle, Marta. Good hustle. <laughs> what the fuck I'm supposed to do? Good hustle. Good hustle. You did great work out there. Keep it up. I wouldn't mind having a... Like, can I get poison jab? Do I have the TM for it? Or the TR for it? Hmm... But I feel like he should get it by level up. But I guess it wouldn't really matter. If it's a TM, I don't think it really matters. If it's a TR. But you can like purchase TRs and get more of them. So, water pledge. I mean, I know throw is bulky, but that definitely did not do as much damage. So, oh my god, we're back. <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> Super metal. Super metal, dude. Super metal. Toxic. Uh, not exactly the move I was looking for, but we can go with it. I don't mind having both Nuzzle and Toxic. We got options. We got options. I know how quickly he's leveling up too. Made my mouth go numb. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay, hold on. There's a lot going on here. I need a second, I need a moment. Marta, I got you. I, was gonna say, I thought I had a bunch of super potions. Um, I don't know how close we are. Oh, I thought I healed Alphonse. I don't know how close we are to a Poke Center. Or anything of the sort. So! Let's get everyone juiced up. And shake this tree real quick. One. Two. Three. Four. Fuck. You know, every time I see this nigga, I'm convinced I ran into a shiny one earlier. Cause like that one that I found in the wild area the first time, that nigga was like pink. And not a single one of these niggas since then have been like, had that pink hue to them. I don't know what the shiny looks like, so I could probably just be high. I'm probably just high, but still. Bro, get out the way. Oh. I was distracted. 
I do have poison jab. I'm gonna teach it to him. He'll probably get it by level up. But it's a TR, which means you can... I'm hoping that you can get it more than once. You're just hoping that you can get it more than once. Through, like, raids in the wild area. And shit like that. Right? I can't imagine that they would only give us one singular poison jab for the entirety of the game. <clears throat> Can you believe that's how Pokemon used to work? That's so crazy. Like, it's not even so much that I'm used to using a TM more than once. It's just the notion that, like, there are some moves that you could only get once. Some moves you could only get once. Some Mons could only ever... You could only teach it to one Mon, period. So it's like you had to really decide, like, who, who's going to get this? Attack points. Use both of them, bro. Special attack. I'm gonna give it to Marta. Cause so I feel like she's definitely gonna be... Defense. Again, I feel... I, I, that's the feeling that I'm getting. I don't know if that's how it's gonna end up being, but... We'll see. Paula? I need you caught up. Okay, so Paula and Marta Tecla are the only two struggling right now. We'll get them caught up. We'll get them caught up. We'll get them caught up. We seem to be encountering quite a few rare candies. It's interesting. It's interesting. To say the very least. Okay, so that looks like the correct way to go to continue on. So, pause. I will whoop your ass here momentarily. I'm going to go back this way. Oh, there's a Pokemon Center, and there's a gym! Oh, we're almost there! <gasps> I synced it. Fuck! I synced it with my own eyes. I look like a Helioptile. My hat, <laughs> my shirt. <laughs> I look like a Helioptile. <laughs> this is my Helioptile cosplay, you guys. I'm like a Helioptile trainer right now. Like, you know how there are certain trainers that like, their wardrobe matches their, their Pokemon? Bro, I would get blown back so easily. <laughs> That's all I had was just a helium tile and a heliolisk. Sheesh. I'd be talking some big shit too. <laughs> we come out here to train daily. We're not gonna lose. The motherfucker has a diglet and just six O's me. Hey, surf helium tile coming through. Hey, she gotta revive fossils. Oh, I like the shoes! Name's Carolis. I'm researching fossils. Huh? Fossils and Galar are broken into top halves and bottom halves for some reason. Huh? Strangely, no matter which top and bottom you combine, they can be restored together. Oh, is that why we had two? Perhaps within this mystery lies the key to understanding these combinable Pokemon. Huh? What? So there's, so it's not just one Mon. Well, my question then is how many top halves and bottom halves are there? Because that would determine how many Pokemon combinations you can make. That's really fucking cool. I, I have to say, that's really fucking cool. I really hope this next city allows me to revive them. Oh, I forgot I have all this shit I can sell. Hmm. Hey, I thought I said fuck off. All right, after this recording session, we'll restart. We'll do these updates so they'll stop fucking with us. And just leave us be. I really did waste a lot of time by not just going up here talking to him. But the only reason I didn't talk to him is because this looked like the correct way to go. I didn't know that you'd have to like circle around the backside of the route to get up there, you know? It's very misleading. It's very misleading. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, I forgot all about you. Pokemon is art too, if we both give it our all. I don't like your crazy eyes. I don't like your crazy eyes, bro. No, 
neutralizing gas? That's a new ability. He doesn't have levitate? Wow. Uh, I am very interested. What does... Neutralizing Gas is a new Pokemon ability introduced to Pokemon Sword and Shield. When the Pokemon with this ability enters the battlefield, it triggers this ability. Neutralizing Gas cancels all ongoing effects of other Pokemon's abilities and prevents new abilities from being triggered. I can see the benefit in that. I was going to say, like, it would have to be pretty good to give up Levitate. But I can see the benefit in that. For sure. I don't understand why we don't have a form of Sudowoodo that makes him like rock fighting and you can give him little boxing gloves like his shiny. He has little maroon hands. You should give him boxing gloves and just make him part fighting. That would be dope as fuck. The fuck did that hoe hit me with? Don't do that again. I think that's what he hit me with the first time. Asshole. I don't know if this will let me live two of those again. Or if I should have just hyper potion. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. That sucker punch did a lot of damage though, to be fair, considering. That it isn't stab and it isn't super effective. Chill, bro! Damn! I don't know if there's other trainers here. <laughs> Use all my potions getting up here. I know I've said this before, but 100% yes. If I wasn't recording this right now, I would 1 billion percent run back to the Pokemon Center every single time. I would never waste a potion outside of battle. Maybe a regular potion at this point. Disarming voice never misses. Oh, that explains. No, that was draining kiss. Never mind. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this for dazzling gleam. You're level thirty. Alphonse evolved at level thirty. Can you evolve at level thirty so that you can like start taking hits? Please, please. Okay. Um, even though I'm questioning what, what level they evolve, I don't want anyone to tell me. I know people like to be helpful and say things like that, but I don't tell me. I want it to be a surprise, like when Alphonse evolved. I... I These are some dope ruins, bro. Oh, look at that. I just wasted the potion. Or right here. Whoa. I mean, I like the aesthetic. I can't climb up here. Just getting here was so satisfying. I can't imagine what seeing the ruins will feel like. A vibrant town that has grown up around an ancient mural tucked away in the mountains. I love the music too, as it changes. Hey, I have tons of good stuff. I'll share some with you. I'll give you some tips about fossils. The professor on Route 6 will restore fossils for you. If you want to collect different fossils, go to the wild areas. Search for them by yourself or ask the digging duo. Haven't met the digging duo yet. My Pokemon are the ones that train. I just dress the part, that's all. What a stoic black belt you are. Um, I think I mentioned this, or I started this conversation when we were leaving um, Hammerlock, but I said, like, hiking's super dope. I've been doing a lot of hiking as of late, and um, it's one of those things that blows my mind because 
Like, it's... Oh. I just saw the break in the fence and thought I could go over here. Um, it's one of those things where, like, back in the day, hiking was, like, a requirement. Like, to establish new cities and civilizations and shit. Like, people had to hike through mountains and over land and whatnot. But now, it's just, like, a hobby. Like, oh, hey, I'm gonna go do this thing that people probably dreaded years ago. Okay, chill. I see my nigga hop right there. Y'all selling shit? Hey, how about doing an errand for me? If you can bring what I need today, I'll give you a good reward. Today I'm buying a pearl for 3,000. I don't have that. Have a look at our bargain. Next bargain. Protective pads. Sure. Thanks for coming, I guess. What? Yeah. I'm going to get a reaper cloth. Make up your mind, dude. Whoa. Diggy, diggy, dig. This reminds me of Lentimas Town. Is that what it is? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Lentimas Town? In Black 2, White 2, when you fly from Mistralton City, the town you land in. Hey there, you having to catch a lot of Maractus? How about trading one from my Hatena? No. I already have a Hatena. Excuse me, bro. Then no shock. Hmm. You know, since this is my first time playing the game, I kind of want to do all the in-game trades. So maybe after this session, when I get a chance, I might go and catch all the mods that they need, like Applin and Hatena. I can't do anything about Toxel, not yet, but still. I want to wear Bronzong on my head. Um, where is your mouth? It's right here. You don't see it? <laughs> Why not buy some ruin souvenirs? They're quite valuable, you know. You can only get them here. I've already got enough luggage, mate. They do look cool, though. Can I go in that house? I think I can go in that house. But I'm not going to go up to him just yet. I see a ladder over there, too. Oh, wait, there's a... What is with all the ladders? I feel like I'm playing Mario. Rare bones. I think somebody said there isn't a rare bone collector in this game. That's just fifth gen, so I should just sell those. Whoop. Ooh. What's up, y'all? Gotta keep stirring the pot. Make sure it doesn't burn, but also don't spill it. Temper control is very important for cooking. Yeah, when I cooked, I was just fucking that shit up. I didn't give a fuck what it was. I was like, get me out of this mini game. <laughs> now. I don't want to be here anymore. Uh, Nappy. I'm still not too sure what I should do about all the stuff I told you before. About me being weak and dragging down Lee's good name and all, yeah? But the only thing I can do is get stronger, right? So I'm going to try out all kinds of different things against you and see what works. You're on. Then let's do this. I bet an all-out battle with my true rival will help me get my head on straight. Hey, whatever whatever you need me to do to help, bro, I'm here. Cramorant? The fuck did you get that from? After I'm... All I'm after is victory. I'm counting on you to help me grab it. Cramorant? <laughs> this dodo bird, goofy looking motherfucker right here. I don't know what his typing is. Well, flying, obviously. It's a dodo bird. Oh, it looks like a dodo bird. So is this a fossil? Because dodo birds are extinct. It, it do. You know, I was gonna say it looks water, but then he used pluck and I said fly. Flying. <laughs> so is it a water flying type? That did so much. It got an Aerocuda. It got an Aerocuda. What the fuck was that? He's got a 
still a Cobra? I don't know what his typing's gonna be. I'm gonna let Alphonse handle this. Silla Cobra, it's a snake. So I could see it being like poison type, but it's color scheme, I could see it being ground or rock. When the fuck did you get the Silla Cobra, dude? I want it. It's not very effective. I should have. So, what resists poison? Does poison resist itself? I believe it does. It is a ground type! I tried to use Spark! Where's Chen when you need him? Where's Chen when you need him? Paul still only has two moves. What the fuck? Hey, we have a significant ground type weakness on the team here. One, two, three of our mods are weak to ground. I need you to evolve so that we can do something about it. Okay, I just have to eat the hit and hit back. So I don't know if it's a poison type. Hey, that's a really dope Pokemon. If I do say so myself, that's a really dope Pokemon. I want a Silver Cobra. Who wouldn't aim for a super effective hit if they had the chance, right? I mean, you tried. You did. But I swapped. I swapped. Oh, he's got a Toxel! I'm gonna let Marta handle this. The Battle of the Babies! <laughs> it's a WrestleMania match right here, bro. I hope he gets the form that I don't have. Just so I can see it. Hey, fuck it up! Hey, Marta Tekla coming through! We're about it, dog. Hey, I think that's Marta Tekla's first successful battle. I believe so. Um, I'm gonna send out Annette Yuko, because I don't know. Modesto is pure water, right? So, Raboot should be pure fire still. Because I'm just going to guess he looks like a, he's going to be a fighting type. I don't know what I can do the right way, but I didn't do that for it. He looks like he's going to end up being like firefighting. <laughs> Another firefighting starter? Really? Really? Why, dog? Why? Who told you? Who told you to do that? Did you think I was going to flame charge you? I was going to rock polish? Hey, I'm gonna need you to hit this crit for the one time. What is your goal here, dog? What, like, what, what is the end goal with all these agilities? He's gotta heal. <laughs> like, what is... Isn't Gyro Ball, like, the opposite? The faster your opponent is, the more damage you do? You would have been so much better off just double kicking. What is the point in the agility? Bro. Bro. How's that? Super effective damage. I'm always looking for an opening. <laughs> they have an opening. Back at the Pokemon Center, bro. <laughs> what a dumbass. <laughs> Paula, I'm gonna need you to evolve, yo. My strategy goes right to pot when all when I've got all these bad thoughts running through my head. Oh, did I not help? Should I have let you win, bro? Is that what should have happened just now? Hmm. <clears throat> I tried switching my team members in and out to max out their potential in every matchup, but we just couldn't get it together somehow. Maybe that's why I'm still so weak. But Lee really is the greatest trainer. I don't want people to be laughing at him all because his little brother is rubbish. It's not enough. I've got to try harder and harder and harder till no one's laughing. I'm off, mate. Off to find the kind of Pokemon that I can really draw the strength out of. 
Good luck, bro. I wish you the best. <gasps> that child! Gym challengers should battle for the sake of their own Pokemon. Why worry about saving the champion's name? We all know he's unbeatable. Anyway, here's something for letting me watch you battle. Who's B? Now on you go, child. You're headed to the Stow on Side Gym next, no? The gym challenge is about having fun. Is she? Well, I know she's a gym leader. Is she the Stow on Side gym leader? Or is it B? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Given special attention from her parents, B trained hard with her partner Pokemon since a very young age. This has honed her judgment skills and she is able to remain calm and collected even when facing dire situations in battle. This leads many to think she lacks emotion, but the truth seems to be that she doesn't want to show weakness. She is sometimes known to show her true feelings to her partner Pokemon during battles. She is secretly a huge fan of various sweets and this has recently been found out by her fans. The additional attention has made enjoying sweets a little difficult. She's so edgy. She's so edgy. I can't show any emotion. Emotion is weakness. I can't do that. Mm, uh, uh. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna check out this ladder and check out this other house, and then I want to go back to the professor on the route and see about these fossils, because it looked like she had a fossil machine, but she wasn't doing shit. So like, fucks up with that, you know? Um. But I also want to take on this here gym. Take on this here game. <clears throat> but as I'm recording this, thank you for choosing my flying taxi. Please take the TM as a... Oh, wow. Cool. The first airborne taxi in the Gallo region was a Corvidite. We've been keeping the tradition ever since. Y'all don't, like, branch out to other regions? You can get some Pidgeot flying taxis in Kanto? Some Staraptor flying taxis in, um, Sinnoh? Huh? Eh, 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 no. Here are Diglett's Cracked Pot. A peculiar teapot that can make a certain species of Pokemon evolve. What? Who evolves with a cracked pot? I don't think I've even seen. Incompatible. Hmm. Cracked pot. I don't even think I've even seen a Pokemon like that comes to mind. That would use a cracked pot. Wait, can I? Are you sure I can't just jump down right here? Oh, that's so inconvenient. I wonder if I can fly to her. I can fly back at least. At the very least. Um, but I was going to say, uh, you guys watching this have no recollection of like how long I've been recording until after you see all the episodes where I'm wearing the same shirt. But I'm going to record for another 30 minutes because I have to go and get my crown put back on. I had a crown put in like four months ago or something. And I was just eating dinner the other night, just chicken and rice. And all of a sudden I felt this um, hard thing in my mouth. Like I'm eating chicken and rice. Like it's not that crunchy of a meal. And I pulled it out and sure enough, it's my fucking crown. I'm just happy that my tooth has been fine ever since then. But aggravating. Just one more pointless fucking thing to do. Hmm, you got some fossils there, huh? Will you show them to me, Carolis? Which of your fossils do you think stands up to the high standards of Carolis? Fossilized bird. Which of your fossils do you think will pique the curiosity of Carolis? Fossilized dino. Shall I restore the fossilized bird and the fossilized dino together? Huh? Is this going to give me, like, a raptor? I'm guessing I want to try something else would be if I had other pieces, but these are the only two pieces I have. Okay, restoration time. Let's unravel the mystery of these fossils. All right, I'll stick them together. Here we go! 
Objective complete. It seems the restoration was a great success. Yes, I can see it in its eyes. This is a Pokemon that walked the face of Galar in ancient times. I'm so excited. <laughs> Please take and care for this Pokemon, huh? Arc to Zolt. Arc, like Arctic, because he has a little snot run out of his nose. So is he rock ice? Huh. Well, I've been thoroughly impressed with Gen 8 Mons up until now. <laughs> Uh, I hope that he's electric ice. Oh, arc. Oh, so he's a fossil that's not a rock type? What? The shaking of its freezing upper half is what generates its electricity. It has a hard time walking around. Huh. Um, it's just a goofy design. It doesn't have a gender. No gender. Okay, I'm going to click ambiguous then. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely not fitting the alert. Uh. <sighs> Last name is Jess. J E S S. Fidlimid. Fidlimid. Fidlimid, Jess, um, from Aberdeen City, Scotland, United Kingdom, uh, 35 years of age, born April 20th, 1984, at 10.44 p.m., height is 6 feet tall, 155 pounds, right-handed, O-positive blood type, with a lifespan of 67 years, passing away on February 19th, 2052, at 5.07 p.m., cause of death is heart disease. Huh. I just wish that its head wasn't this tiny thing. Like, I I like the head and I like the body, but I don't like them together. You know, I was just expecting something different. Huh. Electric Ice is a unique typing, though. It's a very unique typing. I, I, I would like to see what its evolution is. So I wonder if I would have just done the dino by itself and then the bird by itself. So I have to get more fossils. Oh, I said I was going to fly back. Fuck it. Um, so if I would have done the, the dino by itself and the bird by itself, I wonder what it would have looked like. How can I fly there? Oh. I thought it was flying me to the gym. <laughs> Not the Pokemon Center. I was like, how can I fly there? I've never been there. The fuck? Okay, enough of the fossil dino shit.